Welcome back, guys. We have completely owned it in the colonial era. We, we're just, just dominating the game. We're going to carry all that on in the World War era. So first thing we need to do is get to the World War era. How are we going to do that? Well, first thing we're going to do is start doing the revolutionary quests. So we'll start off by putting in a pirate cove. <laughs> Pirates. Arr. Uh, where am I going to put this? I kind of like it in some little place out of the way. But uh, what I should do first is check my fishing spots. See, we've got really good fishing around here. So we probably want to put loads of fishermen along here. In fact, I think that's probably what we'll do. So I think we've, got, I think we've probably got room for a, for a pirate cove over here. And this, I think it's a nice little spot for a pirate cove. Arr. <laughs> so, seriously, as soon as you hear the word pirate, don't you just get the, the, the desire to go, arr, arr, Jim lad. So, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm having way too much. I've been, uh, seriously, I've been playing this for hours. And it's so much freaking fun. There's so many different ways you can play the game. It's kind of awesome. So I want to ride going across there like that. There we go. And we'll quick build that. Why? Because we can. Because we've got a million in the bank. That's why. All right, that's going to get done. Cool. Demand completed. Together, Governor Ju, I, and the people will turn everything around. Uh, I'm not. I'm not even going to say it this time. Uh, we'll take ten revolutionary immigrants. Why the hell not? We've got thirteen hundred people. We're actually going to reduce our population over time. Right. What the hell am I doing now? Um, I've no idea. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, newspapers. We want to put in some newspapers because newspapers will help us um, convert convert the people. So I'm thinking probably, we probably want a newspaper somewhere in here. I might just speed this up. Let's speed it up. We want to crack on with this. I want to get into, oh, I, there's so much cool stuff coming up, guys. I've been figuring out all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know what, that'll go in there, peachy. We're not gonna need too much of this. Like, I would think probably three or four, three or four newspapers around the place, probably do. So we'll have one over there and maybe one, there's a lot of houses here, maybe one over here. But, and I'm not being too fussy about putting it in. If I want to do some sky candy, I'll do that later. So uh, where's that one? Let's throw that one in. And then the two that I put in over here, which I can't remember where they are. There we go. Oh, that one's already getting built. Wow. And that one's already getting built. My God, my construction workers are on the ball. Makes a change. Right, so now we're going to convert all of these. Control click on the independent. Citizens living in the vicinity of the newspaper have a chance of 25% to shift their political views towards the revolutionary faction every time they rest. Boom. That will not take very long. But we need high school education for those guys. So arrive, Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay. Produce fish, have a fisherman's wharf. Yes, we'll do that. Oh, okay. That's how easy it is. Such exquisite taste. That is how easy it is. Now, somebody wanted me to not pay the 10,000, although like we could totally do it. Uh, they wanted me to have the war. So I'll show you how pathetic the war is. Feisty so, little colony, aren't we? We'll try not to crush your spirits too comprehensively. Yeah, shut up, Roger. Um, I've got to say, it is pretty pathetic. Like, don't get your hopes up. Um, they, they have actually taken the, the message to heart. They are working on improving the whole combat stuff. Uh, we'll do we'll do some forts. So I'll put in. Let's see. Let's have a fort kind of over here. It's, it's trying to find space is the only issue. Uh, we can have. Oh uh, no, we couldn't. Yeah, oh, we can have a fort there. We'll have a fort there. It just depends where where they raid. Um, I might have one over here as well. I have one. I have one over here protecting the docks. Yeah, go. On. There we go. We'll quick build that. Yay, we've got soldiers, hooray. We want it on uh, make a sortie. In fact, uh, this building provides squad that can be sent on attacks or defend. Man the ramparts, they only defend. Uh, this building provides a squad to defend against attackers. Yeah, we, we want the make a sortie one. Can we get any bonuses? Utility installations, if a worker has lower healthcare, has healthcare lower than 25, they'll receive healthcare service with a quality of 25. If a worker has a faith happiness lower than 20, they'll receive faith happiness with a quality of... Really? You know what? I, that is the first time I've seen that. 
And I've looked at this so many times. It's amazing what you miss. Yeah, we'll go for that. So let's see. Uh, we've got this one, upgrade. Utility installations. That one's done. And that one. And... Right. I'm running at four times speed, aren't I? Yeah. There should be one more, shouldn't there? No, I put in three, didn't I? Yeah, I put in three. There we go. All right, so now it is just the case. Look, look how fast the money's going up. It's going up crazy fast. It's gonna, it, it's gonna be better in the world wars. Right, so, um, so now it's just the case of waiting for them to invite. Oh, here we go. About time. Oh, and our guys are on the move. Tropico is under attack. Pirates are attacking. And I wish you could click on. Oh, here they come. Here come the pirates. You know what? We'll, we'll slow it down to one time speed. Oh, they've engaged them at the docks. We've got two lots of pirates. They don't really look like pirates to me. They look like redcoats. Our poor guys are getting their asses kicked. But that's okay, because... Let's see. What are you doing? You sent some guys? Oh, here we go. Oh, hang on. Which, which are the pirates? Oh, no, these are the pirates. No, these are the pirates. Where are the rest of our guys? Are they slacking? Wait, why don't you send some troops out here for heaven's sake? But it is only two troops of, of pirates. So, it, it is kind of pathetic. Oh, here we go. Our second squad. There should be two squads from, uh, from each fort. Oh, they've killed our first squad. And our first, our second squad's kind of pathetic. Now they're targeting this. Now what you can do is uh, go in here, get a guard tower, slap in a guard tower, boom, or or several if you can actually get the darn things in. Let's put another one in there. We'll quick build those. Boom, boom, because you know where they're going because it tells you where they're going. Right, build that. Just in case our second squad gets wiped out, which I'm thinking is kind of likely. Should we crank it up? Because it, it, they do just stand there and fire at each other. It's not. It's not the most riveting thing in the world. But we should. Oh, here's our. Here are our other squad. Well, here's one other squad. Oh, we've got another squad coming out from here. Now we've got two squads engaging them. And, and, and the guard tower, hooray. Can we, can we, are they doing anything? Oh, oh, there he is. Nice weather. Oh. I am sorry, not today, please. We're losing this battle. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll beat him easy. Oh, they've just lost another guy. But we're, we're down to two guys in this squad. They're hiding in the shacks. They've got cover. Take cover, guys. Use the terrain, damn it. Oh, there's our second squad. But he's almost dead. Well, I suppose you. And there you go. Well, for a <laughs> like, bunch I, of savages. I did warn you. It's not. It's not a tricky thing. They send two squads of pirates dressed as redcoats, and um, and that's it. So progress to the world wars. Right. Let's get back to the economics of this. Leader for the first time. As El Presidente. Oh, best bit, best bit of the game coming up. Right, where you get this, make sure that you click on Tell Me More, if you haven't seen this before, and then you can go through here. What's that? Oh, Presidente. and I'll tell you a bit of stuff. That's a relief. For a second there, I thought you were the hun. <laughs> and there's, yeah, to be honest, it's, not, be concerned by my it's not all that amazing. amazing. Until you get to... Let me guess. You're thinking, f*** a nun. <laughs> I better not swear. You have no idea. <laughs> it still makes me giggle. Alrighty, so what, who's going to vote? We'll have all citizens voting. Um, and we'll have professional soldiers. I think we should have prof professional soldiers, don't you? Of course we should. Of course we should. We're a blooming Caribbean dictatorship. Of course we should have professional soldiers. But... We're gonna have to get some. Uh, we're gonna have to get some education going. Oh, they're running away. There they go. In a landing craft. That's actually a very cool vehicle. It's kind of a shame that you don't get to see it more often. That is very cool. All right. So, what are we gonna do first? 
Uh, I'm going to slow it down while I do some of this stuff. So, well, what can we do? Well, we need to get some education going. That's actually kind of sort of pretty important. So let's get some education going. Uh, we want high school. I, I mean, I say it's important. It's not that important, right? You can play through the whole game never having schools or colleges. And you can just hire the people that you need. Like, because you've got so much money, you can just do it. But I think it's kind of cool to have schools. And also, we're going to be running a, um, a theocracy later on. Uh, so, so we want to we want to indoctrinate people. Now, where, where am I going to put this? Like, seriously, space is kind of a at a premium. Where the hell can I put a school? Um, I am seriously thinking that I'm going to get rid of one of these plantations. But in goes the school. Quick build it because we because we're impatient. And um, yeah, so we're going to need some high school people. So we'll employ them. And from this point on, you're going to want to keep checking. Now, we, we've got 46 high school jobs which are not being filled. It's mainly the chapels and stuff. So we are going to have to go through. Very noisy doing that, so I'll probably do that offline. OK, so hooray. Oh, we, we should be getting some people coming in to work here with a bit of luck fairly soon. Let's let's crank it up. Oh. And I'll put in another school. And then we'll start getting onto the economy. Uh, what do I want to do? I want another high school. Right, we also want college. Unlock the college. Where the hell is the college going to go? I have no idea. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe in the middle. So maybe like over here would be a good place for it. Uh, but of course, it's like trying to trying to fit the stud thing in. You'll go there. I mean, really, it should be the other way around. But like, we're going to be looking at it this way. So I think I think we should put it in this way around. So yeah, go on, in you go. Quick build you and cha ching. Oh, you know what? Some say I missed one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I missed one thing. I should have done this like straight away. Um, where is? Building permit. This is critical, right? Building permit. Increase the construction cost of all buildings by 20%, but 10% of the base construction cost is transferred to your Swiss bank account. And that is going to be something we're going to be using a lot. So the first thing we want to do is unlock that. Right, let's go over. Well, from the declared... I've got nothing against the. <laughs> got the solid stuff popping up at the moment. Tickets to church. Build a mansion, build I'm a circus. Dry. We're going to go with uh, Every penny religion. Spent on charity is a penny wasted. Cool. For profit business is yeah. always yeah, yeah. the way. I got it. God Shush. may excuse your blasphemy, oh child. Quick, Presidente, we must choose a yes. side yes. in okay. this terrible war before I've heard it you ends. all. It is almost certain to be very short. Good lord! Right, we're going to go to research now because I put in two libraries. Um, we've amassed eighteen thousand research. So you know what? I'm going to research everything from this era. So that's it. That's the, 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 the colonial era done. Now the World War era. The ones that I want. I want religion and state for sure. I want the literacy program for sure. Uh, what else do I want? I want building permit for sure. Right. Then I'm going to get all the buildings done. Open all them up. And then, so I've got, still got 9,000. Then we can just run through and just do everything that's left. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and then we'll queue up all the rest. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. So now I can go to the edict, Resident, building permit. It is our responsibility to ensure that all buildings have their proper paperwork. Of course, good bureaucracy doesn't come cheap, and neither do good slush funds. Given the importance of both, we should look for opportunities to expand the building permit scheme wherever possible. Does that shack have a permit? What about that sandcastle? The possibilities are endless. Indeed. Well, we're slapping it on everything we do. So I could have, I could have got some nice, some nice moolah off putting those schools in, but it's okay because we're gonna build loads of other stuff. Okay, so that's that done. Um, next thing, not that construction. I'm going to go to Government Customs Office. Unlock that. Customs Office, very important building because it's going to increase our export prices and make us even more freaking money than we're making now. Would it fit there? Oh, that would be so good if it would have fit, fitted in there. What about... Oh, it'll fit behind the palace. That'll do. That'll do. You're in. Quick build that. 
and stimulate exports. Reduced in import taxes and special tax. This, this, is, this would be one way to get money into your um, Swiss bank account if you needed it. To be honest, it's so easy to get money in your Swiss bank account that you, you kind of really don't need to bother. But yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, there's nothing we can do um, upgrades wise. And um, we'll hire some foreign workers into there. And I'm going to crank up the budget for this one because, because we want... We want the highest export prices that we can get. Okay. So, how are we doing? Oh, there's, there's fires raging in Tropico. Okay, pause. The next thing we need to do is we need to put in fire stations because otherwise everything will burn down and it's a real nuisance. So, let's get some fire stations put in. And again, where? Where? Where's the space? We can, um, I mean, I could put one in over there. I'd like to have one kind of central, really. Kind of like over here would be good. I think... I think I'm going to get rid of a rum distillery. Am I going to get... I'm going to get rid of a rum distillery. Yeah. Yeah. Demolish that. Go. Because... Because we just need... We need a little bit of space. Flying cars have arrived in Tropico. Current flight times are less than a second. But our scientists are working hard on improving that. Um, yeah. Let's cram you in there. And since we've got a little space next door to you... We're going to do some more stuff, I think. Uh, let's get... Let's get a clinic... We're going to start working on the healthcare. We'll slot a clinic in there, and we'll also slot in a church because we're going to get the churches going big styly. So we'll have a church there. Because I'm putting in a church, we can start ripping out the chapels. So we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Go. I might start start leaving stuff to just get built. Um, it's probably a good idea. And I think we'll have another church over here because we've, we're going to have like a lot of houses over here. So I think another church, probably a good idea. The question is, how do I fit one in? I'm going to have to knock down that house is the answer. Demolish that. Put some more music on. Now, somebody told me that when the music goes quiet, it's because if you go to the options, you look, it's, it's set the music volume to zero. Why has it done that? Is that, is that about right? I think that's about right, isn't it? I don't President, know about you. I love the music. There is a flaw Build a weapons factory. Military. Yes, okay. I got it. I got it. You want a weapons factory. Let's throw in uh, another church, which we'll put in. I won't fit there, so it's going to have to go there. And then we've got a little slot there, which would be kind of perfect for another clinic. So we'll throw in another clinic. Cool. Awesome. And then um, up this end... We're going to start putting in some more stuff. Uh, I want to start getting fishermen in. Now, the reason I want to get fishermen in, let me show you this. I want to, I want to get our happiness up. Now, up until now, we've actually been running on low efficiency. Okay, um, I wonder if I can show this to you. I, I would imagine I can show this to you pretty easily, I would have thought. If we pick on, here you go, Kate Archer. May I help you? We go to her thoughts. No, let's try somebody else. What about Maria? No. They should be saying things like, you know, I'm really sad, I can't get anything done. Uh, let's let's try you. Gotta get a job, gotta get me here. Um, but, okay, well, I, I don't know. I, oh, what a you day. should be seeing... No. You should be saying sadness thoughts. From them because because they're not very happy and I think it's I think it's at around 50% they suddenly change and they start getting happy thoughts and of course <laughs> oh, ah, come on okay. somebody somebody say something sad new job new problems blah, blah, blah. no <laughs> try you I'm gonna die for a doctor hi ho no no not saying anything okay well never mind but we're gonna we're gonna improve things we're going to make them happy by doing things like cranking up like the food happiness. Food happiness is 61 at the moment. We're going to make that a lot better by giving them a, a bigger variety of stuff to eat and things like that. Um, is there any... There's fish over there. There's fish over there. It's not going to be the most efficient, but at least we can, uh, at least we can get one in over here. So go on. We'll, we'll plop one in. 
I'll quick build that because it's miles away from the construction workers. We need uh, we need a nice road. Can I get? Uh, uh, can I? Oh, I can't go to there. How annoying. Let's go. Well, in that case, let's go up there, across there, and up there. Sweet. And then at this end, I'm going to do the usual routine. We're going to have a church up here somewhere. That'd be good. Quick build that. We'll have a clinic so that they can be healthy. Build that. Look, look how our population has gone down. We were up at like 1300 and we're down to like a thousand. And that's because like you move into the world wars and everything just gets a little bit tougher. So you need, um, you need like proper healthcare. Otherwise they're just dying all the time. What else do we want? We want um, a, like the, with plantations like nearby, you kind of don't need to worry too much about a grocery store, but over here, I mean, we're only making sugar. So a grocery store, would be kind of a very good thing to have somewhere over here. Uh, can't, can't go in there. Won't fit there. Can fit there though. The listener oh. wrote asking, how can I help Could El Presidente that. win the war? The palace replies, vote El Presidente in the next election. We we'll have a grocery store here as well. Uh, so I've got um, church, food, health. That is pretty much all you need. Church, food, health. And then we could build some houses. Uh, why am I building a grocery store, you lemon? Now, uh, again, what you should do is uh, go to the edicts, do urban development, as so that your houses cost like 50% less, because I'm probably going to put in a fair few houses. Where are we? Residential. Bunk houses. Um, seriously, I only, get, I only get one house in there, but we can get a few. Get a few up there. Cool. We'll cram some more houses in wherever we can. We can probably get some in this area. Let's have, let's have some a couple of houses there. Now we are going to have to start putting in some uh, some better housing because if we look at our homeless, uh, 95 of them are broke, 115 are poor, but we're starting to get some well-off people who need some housing. So. We're going to put in some housing for the well-off. And you know what? We can squeeze in a little bit of well-off housing right there. Let's unlock the apartments. Oh, I can, get one, I can get one in there. I can get one in over there. Let's put one in there. I might, I, I don't know about the. Yeah, go on, we'll, we'll put it in there. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that tavern, demolish that. We'll have another one. Because the people who are, who are going to be well off are going to be people like these guys. Well, he's rich. Rich, rich, well off, rich. Because we're, we're paying them loads of cash. Um, I might even drop that down now. Yeah, I'm going, to drop, I'm going to drop that down. We'll drop the efficiency down a little bit. Save us a bit of money. Because like we're so desperate. And we've only got a million. What am I doing now? I'm putting in uh, another apartment, aren't I? Yeah, let's put in another apartment. There, hooray. Are they gonna build them? Nah, let's just quick build them. Quick, quick, quick. Boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. We can put in, uh, we can put in some more bunk houses around here. Boom, boom. So there's a tree there. I don't really wanna knock that tree down. I like trees. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe throw one in there. <laughs> Where else? Where else can we get houses? We could put maybe another one there. Oh, I knocked a tree down. Damn it. Okay. Right, so we're starting the process of, of getting this stuff done, but there's quite a lot to do. Um, for example, we need, to, we need to get rid of that. We'll get rid of that tavern as well, so that I can get a church and um, a church and a clinic in there. We'll get rid of that one as well, and I'm going to have to get rid of I think one of the houses. So let's get rid of that, demolish that. All right, let's get a couple of churches going in here. Church goes in there, and church is going to go in there. And then we want a couple of clinics going in. So clinic going in there, and clinic going in uh, there. Cool. Quick build, quick build, and quick build, and quick build. Hooray! Might even quick build that. So we've got lots of churches going in. Now the churches 
Gonna need some upgrades. You know what, I'm gonna quick build these because, oh no, they're getting, they are getting done. You know what, that's getting done too slowly. Quick build it. Finish it off, I'll, I'll click the button. There you go, see? Threats work. So let's get, uh, let's get these churches upgraded. We wanna upgrade them to pompous bells. So we'll run through them, do all the upgrades. Boom, 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 there you go. Yeah, all upgraded. All right, and then the clinics, where's the clinics? The clinics need to be upgraded to with anesthetization, which will improve their service quality slightly. Boom, boom, boom. And that's, that's all the ones I've put in. Okay, so that's kind of this end of the island. I need to do the same kind of thing at the other end of the island, but I, I don't know, I might do that offline. a new snitch for cash program. Report something suspicious today, and you could win fabulous cash prizes. Thank you. Right, so now, ha, what are we going to do to make more cash? Because it's all about making more cash. Well, how are we doing? See, look, revenue, like 15,000 at the moment. What do we make? 30. I mean, it's like, it's okay. It's okay, but we're starting to increase our expenses by putting in all these expensive service buildings. All right, so if we look at this now, yeah, look, our expenses are actually more than our income at the moment. And the ship's just docked, so our income should be at its, at its maximum. So yeah, how, how are we gonna deal with all these expenses that we've got? And this is the thing about moving from the colonial era when you don't have to do a lot, you know, throw in a, throw in a few chapels maybe, but you just basically ignore them. It's perfectly okay to ignore them. So yeah, we're gonna make loads of money. Yeah, loads of money. Let's come over here. Now, this is the college, and it's important when you're at college to learn to smoke. So we're gonna build some <laughs> tobacco factories next door. And again, what I should do at this point, let, oh, uh, let me just check. They call me the broker. A few yeah. opportunities came up. Not We've already got 9,000 well, in our Swiss bank account. So I'm gonna start getting like convincing talks. And I can also, because I've run out of research and I'm impatient, I can start unlocking now, stuff by I just buying it. I don't alarm you, but I'm going to need a rather prompt decision on these offers. I came Refresh to see it. you as soon as I found these were available, Presidente. What do you think? Right, so you can start just like um, getting the research done and um, you can get some standing and you can also get standing with the Axis and Allies. A few opportunities came up. Nothing illegal. Well, nothing that can be proven to break any laws. And staging distractions are good as well. I came to see you as soon as I found these were available, Presidente. What do you think? Okay, so I've spent all that I can spend, but let's see, if we run this on. Okay, so approval's already up to 50%. That wasn't too difficult. And what's our standing with the uh, with the superpowers? We're already over 60 with both of them. <laughs> God, so easy. Right, let's uh, let's do that edict, industrialization, so that our factories cost 50% less. We Boom. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Penultimo, but we've got lots to do. I want to get on. So we're going to go industry, and we're going to go cigar factory. And we're going to put in... Now, we are producing a fair amount of tobacco. So I reckon that we could easily, easily support three. Yeah. And the other thing, we're producing loads of cotton. Now, even though we're producing like probably the same amount of cotton as we are cigars, we want different buildings. Um, now I'm gonna put in, I think I'm gonna put in another dock over here because we've got kind of a, a hub here and I want it to be efficient. So we're gonna put in another dock. Oh yeah, just down there would be freaking perfect. It won't, it won't line up with that road. I was going to have a road coming straight down there. It won't do it. Okay, well, that'll be that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Let's get a road. Now, can I have a... Yeah, I can. So, let's have a road that comes... Um, you know what? Let's just come down there and across there. That's fine. And then we're going to get a textiles factory. Now, with industries, probably the most profitable in this, uh, in the World Wars era, is the weapons factory, because obviously it's the World Wars era. Weapons are in demand. That's it's kind of the point of it. But then you've got to do like mining and you deplete your resources and you've got complex production chains and it's, it's like, ah, it's a bit of a pain. And I kind of did that in the last one. So I'm going to show you now how to do something that's completely sustainable. So we're going to go with cigars and rum. 
Now they're, they're provided by our plantations and also textiles is provided by our plantations and we've already got it. It's just sitting there. All we have to do is convert it. So let's throw a textiles mill in. Now I'll show you the difference and why I've got like three cigar factories but only one textile mill. So we throw those in, quick build them. How much cash have I got now? Oh look, I've got another 6,000, hooray. And there was much rejoicing. I'll take a convincing talk and we'll take some standing. Do any of these offers look good to you? They're standing, all standing. Legitimate. And we'll take an image campaign, hooray. How are things now? Oh look, we're up to 70%. God, that was so difficult. So cigar factories, the cigar factories, we want to upgrade these with automated line. It removes two job positions, but increases the efficiency by tw uh, by 20%. Now, in order to process the stuff, right, you actually want a lot of people working in these places, right? And we're gonna reduce it by two. We've only got five people working there now. So if we reduce it by two, we've only got three people working there. And this is why you need multiple factories. So we've increased the efficiency, but we've decreased the amount of workers that we've got. Right? And these people need high school education. So we're gonna, uh, let's see, let's do, let's do the upgrades first. Let's do the three upgrades. And then we'll hire some workers in to give us a bit of a kickstart. Boom, boom. Now over at the textiles factory, it's exactly the opposite. The textiles factory has got a lot of people working there. They're un it's an uneducated, this is a sweatshop. This is a sweatshop. So we're gonna, we're gonna take acrylic dyes. Efficiency is increased by 30% and pollution is increased by 50%. So we're gonna make it more efficient, but we're also gonna upgrade it with the workshop expansion, which adds four more jobs, right? So with this one, we've just got like a lot of people processing the stuff. So here we've got, we've only got three. So three, six, we've got nine people making cigars at 120% efficiency. Over here we've got, how many is that? Three, six, nine, 15. We've got like 15 people. So now we can probably add another cigar factory, but I'm gonna put three in for now and we'll kind of see how it goes. We'll see if they're running out. The other thing that we can add in, because we've got the whole lumber business going on up here and we're making planks up here, and I'm gonna change this from hasty debarking down to efficient debarking now. Uh, this one's already on efficient, but I've noticed that they're, they're kind of only just keeping up, uh, barely. So I think if we, if we just drop it down, we'll run it like that and we'll see, we'll see how that works. How, how much stuff have, you, have they got in? You've got a little bit. See, I only got a little bit. So we'll, we'll slow that down a little bit. And then um, I thought we get a bit of shipbuilding going. How about that? Bit of shipbuilding, bit of boat building. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking over here maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking over here. So let's get, where are we? Boat yard, a shipyard. So shipyards, I'm gonna put in a couple of shipyards here. So, it kind of, I mean it kind of doesn't really matter, but I think we'll put them there and there. Now that means I wanna reroute this road. But let's do it to there, there, there. Cool. Now we're gonna need apartments for these guys, but there's only like nine of them. So like a couple of apartments will be fine. Let's get, uh, where are we? Residential. Let's get a couple of apartments going over here. Um, I could actually throw one in there, right next to the textile factory. That'll be nice. They'll enjoy that. We can throw another one in there. Now we, there's enough room in there. I could get a church in there, but I think probably it makes more sense to throw in a couple of bunk houses and then we'll get um, bum, 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 church. We'll get church, maybe throw it in over here. Will it fit there? It will, it will fit there. No, it won't. Oh man, it won't quite fit there. It'll fit there though. Oh, I tell you what, if I throw that in there, I think we can get, uh, let's see, residential. I think we can get like, ah, I only get one bunkhouse in there. That's okay. We'll get a, where are you? Uh, entertainment. We'll get a little tavern to fill that little spot. Let's turn you around that way. I have a little tavern in there. And I want a clinic. Let's get rid of that now. Demolish you. Go. Boom, 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 boom. Right, you've gone away. Airplanes have revolutionized warfare, yet Tropico still has no air force. An official palace statement says, learn to fly one, 
Then we will get planes. Uh, we need to put some fun in for the for the for the well-off people. So I'm thinking we put an apartment there, didn't we? Maybe put in a restaurant behind there. Yeah, go. On. We'll put that in there. Uh, I want a clinic. So let's get public services clinic. We'll go throw in a clinic somewhere over here. Right, that'll do. And then I can squeeze in a couple more houses, I think. Uh, residential bunkhouse. Yeah, we can squeeze in a couple more houses there. Awesome. Let's let this run. Let's get this stuff built. There's quite a lot going on. So we're going to be. Um, let's get these quick built. Because like, what the hell? So we're going to be getting these going. These are high school educated people as well. So we'll hire some of those. Boom, 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 boom. I'll go up here and check vacant jobs. Yeah, see, we've got loads of college and high school jobs that we've created. Now, it's gonna take a while for our high schools to get everybody like graduated and whatever. Now, I mean, we can wait if we want to. There's nothing we can do really to speed it up too much. Uh, we can't get the ministry yet, can we? Don't think we can. Pretty sure we can't. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for construction. Construction! What am I looking for? The ministry. Oh, we can't. Uh, yeah, oh, we can get the ministry. Hooray. Right. We'll, in that case, we'll put the ministry in. Do we want the ministry up by El Prez up here? I mean, if if I could fit the blooming thing in, it wouldn't be a bad thing. But I've got to get the embassies up here as well. So, I don't know. I mean, could, could I? No, I can't quite squeeze it in there. I tell you what I could do. I could get rid of one of these forts. Let's demolish that. We'll put it up here. So, that goes away, and ministry can go in up here. I think a ministry should be near the palace, don't you? Come on, it should. So let's whack that in. We'll quick build that, cha-ching. Right, Department of Education. We want our, uh, our graduates to be religious because we're going with a, with a whole theocracy idea. In fact, we go to the constitution, theocracy. Yeah, we can't do that yet. We need to research it. Let's go to uh, research. Oh no, I research religion and state. No, we can do that. All I need to, is um, is the ability to amend the constitution. So let's buy that. Go to the constitution and theocracy. Hooray! Oh, also working, a life's work. Citizens are required to start working at the age of twelve. I've got a big problem with this because I think it should be seven. But hey, it is what it is. It decreases the immigration rate, which is kind of good, and uh, and everybody works a bit harder. It does decrease job happiness a bit, but we'll we'll try and try and get around that. So, a life's work. We, we are going evil dictator, after all. So, confirm changes, boom. Alrighty. So, where were we? Um, I was doing the ministry. So, Department of Education, we want the religious candidate. Um, graduates from schools will gradually, will shift their political views towards the religious faction. And that's what we want. Now, now you can do like other stuff, get them to be militarist, if you want to go for a military dictatorship. We're going for a religious theocracy. Only well-off rich and uh, you can educate just the rich. We're going with that one. Now the other stuff, Department of the Interior. Rebels and criminals have a 5% chance to lose their role. Meh. Increase the job quality of all buildings by two. Meh. Now we could do that to kind of offset that one a bit. So I think we'll probably do that one. And then foreign affairs. Increase the efficiency of raid buildings, don't care. Or we get $100 a month into our Swiss bank account. Yes, I like Kate Archer again. Tie you. Department of the Economy. Decrease construction costs, increase efficiency of buildings on the max budget by five, or we get some more cash. Um, kind of tempted to get some more cash. And Department of Defense. Police stations will provide infantry squads, decrease up costs of military buildings, or we get 100. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get, let's get some cash. <laughs> now, seriously, cash. We are going to be flooded with so much cash, it's ridiculous. Let's get all of these. Any of, these of interest to you? It's all strictly above board, of course. A few opportunities came up. Nothing illegal. Well, nothing that can be proven to break any laws. Cool. Now, I wonder what our standing is now. Oh, 94%. Sweet. El Presidente announces a new snitch for cash program. Report something suspicious today, and you could win fabulous cash prizes. Okay, so, um, how are we doing over here? Um, not a whole lot of stuff coming in yet, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll get onto that. How's the money coming in? It's not. Look, revenue, 85,000. Expenses, 178. Oh, my God. Um, 
I think that's just like a kind of temporary thing as instead of like tobacco and cloth and what are getting, getting shipped out, uh, sorry, uh, tobacco and cotton getting shipped out, they're getting shipped over to these factories. So I think it's just, I think it's just a, a temporary thing. See, look, we've got 2,700 cotton sitting in there now. We've got, uh, we've got over a thousand uh, tobacco sitting in those guys. So should we, um, should we let stuff happen? I think we should let stuff happen at this point. So what else? There's, there is so much to do, like so much you can do in, in this era. We need to get some trade routes going. Now, this is what you need to look out for. 100% above smuggler route on cigars. 23,000 bonus for that. Nice, we'll take that. We could also check out, um, now let's see, what are we up to? Oh, we're up to 20% now with these contracts. That's not too bad. I'll tell you what, I'd really like to get the um, these guys up above that. Those are the libraries. I need to put in a couple of embassies, but it's gonna be a bit difficult. i tell you what, let's get rid, let's demolish that bunkhouse, go. And then I should have room for a couple of embassies across there with a bit of luck. Let's try. Where's the embassy? Here we go. Let's open that up. Embassy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got plenty of room for a couple of embassies now. Well, ish. I say plenty of room. Uh, so we'll have... I, I really would like that to be like there and have a road coming down the centre and that there, but that's um, that's Candyland. So, I, yeah, we'll just throw them in for now. Is what it is. I might tidy, I might do a sky candy thing. If you guys want me to do a sky candy thing, we can, we can do a sky candy thing. Let's quick build those. Ching. All right, so we'll have, um, we'll have the, the allies on this side and the axis on this side. Ching. So let's see, the axis are up to 87 and the allies are up to 80. Now I want to show you this. If we look at the, um, at the trades, so like something like corn, we're getting 20% above standard, which is pretty good. The task is done. You ask how much you are to be paid? A yeah, we'll take, we'll take 4,000 into the Swiss bank account, thanks very much. Yeah, um, so what was I talking about? Yeah, 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 that's right. So we're, we're getting like 20% bonus, which is kind of nice, right? Uh, but I want more than that. I want it to be a lot better than that. Uh, we'll take the militarists and I'll take now, them in constitution. I don't want to alarm you, but I'm going to need a rather prompt decision on these offers. I'll take the weapons factory. That's all I want there, so refresh. Came up. Nothing illegal. Well, nothing that can be proven to break any laws. And that's probably it. Now, what's that got me up to? Oh, 97. Uh, I don't want to deal with them. Not now. Uh, 97. And we're at 100 with the Axis. Now, let's have a look at those trades again. Uh, I'll probably have to wait until the next, the next set of contracts come in in six months. Right, let's let, let's let it run, because I want you to see what the contracts look like in six months' time. I'll have, um, I'll have a quick look and see if there's anything, any other good rebel contracts. No, no, no. It's all good, it's all good. Because we should get a nice bump. I wanna get, you know what, let me get the, let me get the allies up as well. Where are we? Um, I need to build something, <laughs> get some more cash in. What can I build? What can I build that's like freakishly expensive? Uh, we um, we put the, all of that stuff in. We need some fun. We need some fun over here. Some some high quality fun. And we need some apartments. That's an idea. Let's do that. Uh, residential. Oh, let's, have, let's have some apartments going in. So can we get a, can we squeeze? Yeah, we can get an apartment in there. Just about. Just about squeeze an apartment in. Get an apartment in over there. Uh, what about? Yeah, get an apartment in there. So we've got a few apartments going in. That gives us a little bit of cash. Quick build that. Quick build that. I mean, cash in the in the Swiss bank account, which is which is where we want it after all. Boom. That's all them done. And I was going to build something like I don't know, a theatre or an opera house or something, luxury entertainment, or a cabaret. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's do a cabaret. This is must be well off or better. Yeah, that's not a cabaret. It's slightly smaller than the than the other buildings. Um, it's still freaking huge. You know what? You know what? Let's get rid of you. Demolish. Because I reckon we can get the cabaret in and we can get that house back in if we just shuffle things around Flying a little bit. Flying cars have arrived in Tropico. Current flight times are less than a second. 
but our scientists are working hard on improving that. We've got a bunkhouse that's turned to rubble there, so let's rebuild that and quick build. The Go. citizens are demanding elections, Presidente. It's yeah, allow them to vote. I think we'll probably win with 92% approval rating. What was I putting in? I was putting in the uh, the cabaret, wasn't I? Was I putting in the cabaret? No. Yes, I was putting in the cabaret. Yes. Cabaret goes there. Hooray. Mucho rejoicing. Quick build that. Cha ching uh, Do I want to do anything special with this? Probably not. Probably not. Probably just leave it as it is. Uh, no. Uh, that's increased service quality. That provides liberty. No, that's fine. Basic is fine. Are people going to go there? I don't know. We probably need some more high school workers. Let's How are our schools it's doing? Better to be one of the allies than one of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this is the other thing. So the allies are asking us to do a trade route because of the stuff that I've been getting for the broker, the, like the convincing talks and the distractions. I can say, oh, have a convincing talk to complete this demand. Four uses left, and it's just like making boom. stuff is good, isn't it? Produce That's cotton. Call them. Yeah, I think we can do that. It's not a problem. Good show, not bad at all. Almost worthy of an Englishman, I'd say. Although, let's not get carried away. Completed that. Um, I don't know. Get a, get, a, get a random blueprint. What the hell? What do we get? Oh, maybe we haven't got any blueprints left. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the We need to be allied with one of the superpowers. Um, we could actually do that right now. It's like we, we have already beaten the World Wars era, basically. Um, we could ally with them. Then you'll get one more quest, and that's it. So, should we... Let, let's wait. Let's wait for a while. Let's wait for a while. So, uh, build a circus. I don't want to do that, so I'll have a convincing talk with you. There we go. A good deed, Presidente. Performed, no doubt, with absolutely no thought. We'll take some religious standing. Weapons factory. I don't want to do this either, so have a convincing talk. The best defense Hooray. is a good offense. 10,000. Thanks very much. Uh, we're almost done with producing the cotton because we produced day, it so fast. 2,000 in the Swiss bank account. Awesome. Right, now let's have a little look. How are we doing at our factories? Oh, look, we've got loads of tobacco in there. We've got a fair amount in there. They've already produced 700 cigars. Could do with a bit more in there. How are we doing on the textile side? Oh, we've got loads of cotton. We're churning it out. Let's go over to the docks. How are we doing over here? We're producing rum, which we get nice bonus for. Oh yeah, because we've got the we've got the third dock now, haven't we? Over here. So this, oh look at this, thirty-three thousand boats, cigars, cloth. Boom. Awesome source. We got a shack destroyed. There was a fire somewhere. Everyone I need to put some more fire services in. Visit the Allies Empire uh, embassy. Now, to, while we're on the subject of um, El Prez, now I could get El Prez to wander over there, but again, can't be bothered, so I'll the have a convincing they come, talk. The better they are, right? Build a mansion. Gonna... Yeah, okay. Good job there, Presidente. Thanks awfully. Yeah, thanks hey, to I'll you as well. A... Give me the two grand, sure. Right. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, while I'm talking about El Prez. Now, somebody's been nagging me to customize El Prez. I have the best. Um, and not like customize his dress but customize his uh, style. If we customize him, now you can do all of this gear, but what we want to do is go to, I um, think it's this, yeah, his traits. Now we've got apologetic. The standing penalty for rejecting demands is decreased by 90%. That's big, that is a big deal. Charismatic. Increases the standing with each faction by one and relations with each superpower by one, which is nothing. Corrupt. All payments to your Swiss bank account are increased by 5%. Now that's awesome. Oh, but, and, and the palace also decreases crime safety by minus 50, which is very good. Uh, the only problem is we get so much money in our Swiss bank account already, we just don't need it. Right? Kind of normal, is, which is what I've got him set to at the moment. Manipulative. The standing game for praising a faction in election species is, is increased. Uh, the relations loss for asking a superpower for financial aid is decreased. Again, that's kind of good, but to be honest, kind of irrelevant. Because if you get some money in your Swiss bank account, you could just buy the people. You could just buy faction standing, and you've just got no issues. So, not really needed. Pyromaniac, this one's crazy. There's a 10% there's a chance 
of any building burning down after it's visited by El Presidente. But the efficiency of all your fire stations is increased by 0.02. I'm assuming that's like 20%. They, um, they do need to do a bit of polishing on this. Um, now, these are the two interesting ones. Now, this guy has been bugging me in the comments. Uh, and I do appreciate him bugging me in the comments. I'm not saying it in a, in a horrible way. Uh, he keeps saying, set, it, set up the customization because you can improve the efficiency of the factories. So increases the efficiency of all buildings by 0.01. Right, so that's 1%. Decreases the job happiness of all buildings by five. Now that's significant. And we actually want the people to be happy, right? Not for approval reasons, but for efficiency reasons. We'll talk about that in a bit. El Presidente usually does not leave the palace. So you get like a 1% improvement in efficiency, but all the buildings get minus five job happiness? I don't think so. But this one, Spatial Sense Project Prodigy, Increase the stockpiles of all buildings. The loading capacity of all Teamsters and ships. So, hell yeah, our Teamsters can carry more. Oh, we want that. So, we're going to go with Spatial Sense Prodigy. Yes. Thank you, El Presidente. Exit. So, there you go. That's that done. Holy. Now, we've, we've, we've scratched the surface, guys. I've, I've tried to rattle on as quickly as I can. But we've, we've scratched the surface of this. Um, there's so much more we can do. There's so much more details to go through. So, guys, you're going to want to come back for the next episode because we, we need to start making lots, lots more money. Oh, look, our revenue's getting up there a bit. Nice. I'd like to be getting back up to making like 100,000 plus profit, wouldn't you? And if you want to see it, come back for the next episode. I will catch you for that. Thanks for watching. Peace out.